Hey guys, welcome back to another military video, and today we're going to be reviewing Belgian Brushstroke. So, after my Rhodesian Brushstroke video, I did some digging online to see what other brushstroke patterns I could find. I tried to find Portuguese Brushstroke, which I was not able to for my size, but hopefully in the future I'll be able to find it. But then I came across Belgian Brushstroke, and I was very intrigued to buy it, which... I did, and with that out of the way, let's go into the history of Belgian Brushstroke. Belgian Brushstroke was first developed by the Belgian Armed Forces in 1952. It was inspired by the British Brushstroke pattern that was commonly worn by British paratroopers during World War II. The pattern was common amongst Belgian soldiers who were stationed in the, Con in the Belgian Congo, and it not only saw use in the army, but also by paratroopers and marines. Belgian brushstroke did not become popular until the beginning of the Congo crisis. From 1960 to 1965, mercenaries and Cantonese rebels used it since there was a decent amount of Belgian brushstroke left over when the Congo became independent from Belgium in 1960. Although Belgian brushstroke has not been used by the Belgian armed forces since it was phased out in favor of Belgian jigsaw in the 1970s, it is widely popular amongst the airsoft, militaria, and vintage clothing community. Now with the history of Belgian brushstroke out of the way, let's try it on. And here's what it looks like, my friends. Now, wearing this, it makes me feel very excited, and it almost makes me feel like I'm a mercenary in the Congo, to be honest. But um, with that, I also wanted to talk about some of the features that I like about here. I like the little like side, the little front pockets right here, since you know this could be a very good shirt. Say if I'm hiking or doing anything outdoors, or like that's in a woody or rugged terrain and whatnot. And another thing that I like about this are the little side pouches on here, and they're not only on the right side, but they're also on the left side. So. For the large section right here, you can put any other patch you would like to do, as well as um, for this one, though it is going to be a bit smaller, but I would say maybe a name tag or anything like a small rectangular patch would be very good for this part. And one other th aspect that I like about this shirt are the little buttons here on the on the side. So as you can see, I, I tightened them, and there is a second button right here. Is, I don't know if you can see that, but right here, but also, uh, let's not fix that, but also right here, just in case you want to tighten your shirt, but not as much. The one thing that I would say is a bit of a con, you know, depending on you, but it's not really a con for me, is that it is a bit of a bigger shirt, and this feels more like a, it feels a bit more like a jacket, like say, but not like a huge jacket, like I would say maybe a runner type jacket or whatever the hell it's called. But um, again, not really much of an issue for me. So with that out of the way, let's go over the pants. So here are what the pants look like. Now, I gotta say wearing these are also, it also feels pretty good on me. And like your average pair of cargo pants, you know, you get your pockets on the front over here, but also your side pockets right here and here and also the back pockets and i also love on how with these cargo pants well like every other cargo pants is that if you can see here there's a little button right there so if you want to if you're going and i would say that these are the best pair of pants to wear to say the range you need to carry in another magazine or if you're out hiking or doing anything out in the woods and you want to make sure anything small or medium size is secure, so say like maybe a small water bottle, your phone, car keys, wallet, and whatnot. And I would have to say, in my opinion, the best environment for this would not only be maybe woodsy environment, but also maybe a swamp environment. But and what I mean by that is like if you're wearing this while hunting or fishing out in the swamps of say the bayous of Louisiana or the swamps of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, or anywhere in the south, but also the Florida Everglades, Everglades. and I feel like these would be very good in the Everglades or in the bayous of Louisiana, in my opinion. And what I, and what I recommend buying this? Oh, absolutely, especially if you're a fan of brushstroke and camo like I am. 
However, I will say that this is probably a bit more expensive since the shirt I have on cost $85 and the pants cost $95. Does that mean you shouldn't buy it? Absolutely not. Just make sure when you're going to buy this you have a decent amount of money with you on hand so you're not spending your money willy-nilly. And that concludes my review of Belgian Brushstroke. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click the like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And if you'd like to get to know me more or know any updates on future videos, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Minds, and Odyssey. And if you feel free, make a donation to me via PayPal or Cash App. And tune in next week, or the week after that, if I'm able to get my hands on this, for another review. It will be about another European camo pattern, but one that's going to be a bit more German, per se. And that's about it. Bye!